morning guys it's the weekend and it's time to go out and discover i actually have two days off a week from work which is great because i used to have six days which means i'm going to have time to do a lot of exploring and also to make a lot of videos now today i'm going to have a look at the neighborhood where i am in which is the neighborhood of Baixa. now please remember guys my portuguese is not existing so the pronunciation might be wrong but let's go see it uh, i had a look at my portugal guide and i was looking at the place i'm going to see and the first stop today is the mirador of santa justa now again pronunciation must be wrong but it's basically a viewpoint of the city 360 degrees so I'm sure it would be a good point to start taking pictures and having an understanding of the city. I checked yesterday and the viewpoint is open daily during summertime from half past 7 to 11 p.m. Uh, but it was full of people during like even lunchtime so it's not even 9 I hope that it's not going to be a lot of people since it's Sunday I guess people are still kind of sleeping having breakfast so hopefully there's no queue. So that's the Mirador. So we're going to go up there. And as you can see, there's just a little queue. Broken up, going up smoke, smoking up. Make sure the children in the house, she's inappropriate. The way she's approaching us, I disassociate. Exfoliate, the renegotiate. She's closing up. Come to visit me, she said that she the lonely us. And it's hard to open up. Open you up like a ball. Open up. Tell you how far, far, far. Let your emotions fall, fall on me. Open up. Open up. We are up. The view is pretty nice. And guys, yeah, you should go early in the morning. There wasn't a queue, and I still had to wait like 15 minutes. But worth it. Open up. Open up. Open up. It's time to go down. So the tour is already finished. Uh, it's really nice. I think you know you can take nice pictures, see the city, and it was really useful for me to understand where things are from this point of view. Uh, but you know, it just takes like, I don't know, 20 minutes, uh, it's really quick, but you know, if you're a tourist, why not? Just 5 euro for a days and I think it's worth it. There is also a coffee shop there, just in case you want to stop for breakfast. So all in all good, but keep in mind, you have to pay and basically you stay there like a few minutes and it's more the time to go up and down than the time you stay there. So my guide mentioned a church, which is the Church of Saint Nicholas, and I'm not into church, but just curious to see what, how it is inside. Okay, the church is beautiful inside. Of course, I could not take pictures, but I used my phone, so sorry. I really like the peacefulness of a church. Uh, but yeah, I'm not religious or anything, but I think it's just nice to see different architectures and everything. So I think it was nice. Now, guys, uh, we are going to see Plaza do Comercio, whatever it is. That's I mean, one of the most famous um, squares here in Lisbon. And then we're going to see the market and another viewpoint. So here we are in Rua Augusta. And basically, this is the main street that leads to where we're going next. We're now going to Porta Victoria, which is the entrance of Plaza de Comercio. Request my chariot, get ya. The doors open. Take the hot road and hop in. First impression. So there is this market here, which is really nice. I think it's on Saturdays and Sundays too. Okay, so here we are. That's Arco Victoria. 
and I am in Plaza de Comercio. We got the statue there, and it's just really beautiful around. Ooh. Now, guys, we're going to go to Mercado Ribeira. So this should be uh, just a uh, closed market, but we should find food and other things. I don't really know what, but let's go and see how it is. Even though I've been here for uh, just a week, what I really like about Lisbon is that it's really multicultural. You find people from so many countries in the world, and by the way, it's just easy to, uh, to go around and speak. I speak English, Italian and Spanish, and you know, I don't speak Portuguese. I don't even understand it, but you know, I can speak any of the three languages and people uh, understand me easily. So that's really, really nice because if you are a tourist and you don't know any other languages apart from yours, that's going to be a huge help. And funny thing is, I usually say hola, which is hello in Portuguese and people start to talk to me in Portuguese because I think I can speak it. I'm like, no, sorry, I don't understand. Open up. So this reminds me a lot of Puerto Vallarta when I was in Mexico and when they were doing all these things at the beach. So that's the man building all of this. God, they are really, really cool, aren't they? station where you can get a lot of trains to go to different cool places. Oh, I am at the traditional market, you can see some stalls there. I think it's quite early, even though it's 11 because there aren't a lot of people yet. This is the more modern one as you can see. It actually looks really nice and it's packed. We should be closer to friends if you OPN. Yeah, the market guys was super super cool you should definitely check it out if you are in Lisbon and honestly I have to say I don't even know if I am still in the Baixa neighborhood <laughs> I'm actually close to work uh, but now it's time to have breakfast because I'm really really hungry I've been walking for an hour so. yeah. Look at this beauty. This is a vegan gluten free croissant. Oh my god. It's really good. Look at that. It's really good. Really tasty. The dough is actually. It stays light, it's not too heavy, even though it's a big pastry, big croissant. And I do recommend this place, especially if you have vegan friends, it's really good because we have vegan and non-vegan options. It's fantastic. That is full, we're now going to another Mirador, the one of Catarina, something like that. Let's go see it. I'm lost already. That's because I don't have data on my phone, so I'm just trying to find a place with some screenshots. Not the best idea, but uh, I'm sure I'm gonna find it. Take that hot road and hop in. Monarch butterflies, you should open up. I'm trying to put your heart together. Found it broken. Here we are. Smoking up. Make sure the children in the house, she's inappropriate. The way she's approaching us, I disassociate. Honestly, I thought it was going to be much better. Uh, I know they're doing some, some work, so it wasn't the best view. I mean, it's nice, but yeah, I think it's just a good place just to relax and sit down, have something to eat. Open up. And by the way, look at what I found. King Street. Engaging you on my agenda. Request my cherry get ya. The doors open. Take that. Okay guys, so this is Pink Street. I love it. I just want to take pictures here with my pink lovely outfits. But anyway, I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it uh, let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see more of these things or even if you have any tips about Lisbon that would be nice because although I live here uh, I've been here only for a week so everything is here for me as well so thank you for watching guys I love you as always and I will see you in the next 
video about the next neighborhood on this channel. Adios.